Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha'ala. Kho Halo Yehawah Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim, Rakach Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yehawah Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Jacques Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. Okay, um, just wanted to go off into um, being tempted in this truth. You know, if you fall, you got to get back up, so to, so to speak, you know, because we, uh, hey, this, this is going to be a, this is a journey, man. This is a race, man. This is, you know, it's a marathon. So let me start with James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. But the main point of it, you know, that I want to touch on is, you know, you may go through things, you may actually fall, but you have to actually, you, have, you got to get back up, man. Let's go into, um, let's go into Proverbs real quick. Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Let's see what the NLT says. It says the godly, the godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. And that's a beautiful um, translation right there. You see, because by you knowing the, this truth or you knowing the name, first off, you know the name of Yahweh. That's that's mercy, man. That's a blessing to know the true name of the Father, Yahweh, and that you can repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That you know the true names of the, the Father and Son. The Father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the um, you know, the Savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew, the Mashiach, the anointed one. You see, that's a blessing. That, that is mercy towards you because everybody don't know that. This is, is so many of our people are here in gross darkness. That's why this is such a beautiful translation. It says the godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked, man. One disaster and you got a person jumping out of a window. One disaster is somebody jumping from a rooftop or putting a gun to their head. You see? No, you pray to Yahweh by Shemi Awashai for forgiveness. You turn from that wrong and you keep it moving, man. You got You had to keep it moving. You know, you have to keep it moving. I might have to title it that. Keep you might have to, yeah, you got to keep it moving. You can't just, you know, let let a particular um, you know, fall get you down to the point where you never get back up. You don't want that, man. You know, we have to come to hey, this is a part of this truth, man. This is a part of we're living in these these bodies, these fleshly bodies, and we try our hardest to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. But sometimes, hey, we, we go off all the time, you know, and we're not saved by the law like that. You know what I'm saying? We try our best because, you know, we, we we're showing reverence and love for our father. You know what I'm saying? But in the meanwhile, what Yahweh side, what he done on that cross for us, man, that's that's, you know, and having faith in that is what, you know, salvation is really about because we're still in these fleshly bodies until we get the new bodies. Until we go into the new covenant with the law, statutes, and commandments written on our hearts and minds, we're going, we're going to go off every day. But that's why we pray to you, how about Shemiah was shot for repentance. You know what I'm saying? For things that we've done knowingly or unknowingly. Do we go out here and just, you know, blatantly just, go, you know, just go do some silliness? <laughs> nah, man. And though things happen, you still, like I said, you got to, you got to, you know, repent and get up from, from the fall, man. You can't just sit down and waddle in it. Because that's what a lot of people do. And then, it, you know, that them demons start to, you know, them spirits start to jump on them. And it, and it makes them do things that now they're in a worse um, predicament or a worse situation. Now, let's go to. Um, let's go to Isaiah 55 and three real quick. A real quick lesson, man. Because we, we all go through it. We're all going to be going through something, man. Isaiah 55 and three. Incline your ear and come unto me. Here and your and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And if you go into David's situation, which you know him, you know, sleeping with Beersheba and having her, you know, her husband killed, you know, and you know, 
the very first because she got pregnant i mean david you know you know when you go into that story and nathan came to him and you know gave the judgment you know hey david went through some things man but the lord had mercy on him matter of fact that you know that act of adultery that he committed he should he should have been put to death but the lord said you shall surely not die you know basically you know roughly paraphrasing because that was a real you know messed up act that david does to you to i think his um his name is uriah if you go through that story and you you're familiar with the story of um you know him getting with beersheba you know solomon's mother you know but solomon was a you know basically somewhat of a a pick a picker pick me up you know as far as showing the sure mercies of you know from yahweh by shimei was shot so to speak now let's go into the book of acts 13 13 24 let me see is that what i want um 13 and 34 let me start oh well let me start at 29 just talking about yahweh shai and when they had fulfilled all that was written on him of him they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher but yahweh raised him from the dead and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, which is, you know, our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God, Yahweh, hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he hath raised up Yahweh Shai again, as it is written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that, he raised him up from the dead. Now, no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. See that? Same thing again, man. Wherefore, he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. So, hey, see, we, you know, Yahweh Shai, he got that 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 fresh new, you know, he went back into his fresh new body, man. We're going to get those, you know. We pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he would not blow out our candlestick and remove his Holy Spirit from us. Let me get that. But, you know, in the meanwhile, we're in these fleshly bodies, man. We're going to go off. We're going to be doing a little silly shit here and there. But, you know, yeah, you got to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and keep it moving, man. Let me start at verse 9. Psalms 51 and 9. Hide thy face from my sins. And blot out all mine iniquities. This is something you can pray, man. We pray this on a day-to-day -day basis. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's something that we pray for, man. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. And you can read through this, man. This um, how many verses is this? Uh in yeah, Psalms 51, only 19 verses. But we pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah will not blow out our candlestick, nor remove his Holy Spirit from us, man. Let me get that. Um, let's go back to that Proverbs 24. It's a precept on that. 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and rise up, up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. And I'm telling you that NLT over here was a, a beautiful translation. The godly may trip seven times. So you may you may mess up seven times and that word and that and that word seven goes into um completion it could be a hey, 700 times because when you go into um matter of fact let me see if i can find that real quick because the disciples is asking him about something he said 77 times and he was asking how, how many times should a person you know you forgive somebody basically or matthew let's go into that real quick let's see the parable of the unforgiving debtor. It says, Then came Peter to um, Salakia, Matthew 18 and 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? And the NLT over here says, Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me seven times? And Yahweh Shai said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70, 70 times seven. Oh, okay. So it was 70 times seven and not 70. Okay, hey, man, that's a lot of times. 
He says, um, NLT, no, not seven times, Yahweh Shah replied, but 70 times seven. Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king. Okay, so this goes off into that parable of um, forgiveness. Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful parable. I'm not going to go all off into it. But the point of the matter is, is, hey, we, you know, we're, we're believing in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah for the sure mercies of David, man. You know, we are, <laughs> I mean, we we're living in a kingdom of wicked people, man. We're not able to keep all the law, statutes, and commandments to um, a 100% perfection here. You see what I'm saying? And we're going to go off, man. We're going to go off. We're eating um, of the foul bread in the land of our captivity. You know, these, these so-called white people, man, they put down pork and every fucking thing. They slip little pork and, 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 and stuff that you wouldn't even think that it's in. You know? It's just, you know, little simple stuff like that, man. You know, you, you may have to be, you know, if, you, if you're in a, a marriage and you got to, you know, sleep with your, your, your woman while she's on her monthly. It's all kinds of stuff. All kinds of, you know, if you're going through the laws, statutes and commandments, man, there's so many things, man, that we're, we're going off on on a day-to-day -day basis, man. It's ridiculous. So we have to ask for forgiveness continually. You see? And the Lord, he's the one, if, if, if he's telling Peter, 77 times don't you think that he's gonna forgive us when we ask for him with you know sincerity please forgive me Yahweh about shimmy i was shy i messed up on that you know help me to get better if he's telling him 70 times seven rather <laughs> you see what i'm saying so that you know if he's telling them that and, and we're humans and Yahweh is merciful man the scripture talks about how merciful he is man you see but let's go back to um that proverbs uh 24 and 16 again it was one pre another precept that i wanted to get off of that let me see yes yeah, so uh joel 5 and 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven there shall no evil touch thee and that's a beautiful one right there you know psalms 34 and 19 many are the afflictions of the righteous but yahweh delivereth him out of out of them all and I'm going to get this one last one. Psalms 37 and 24. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For Yahweh upholdeth him with his hand. See that? So hey, we we have total faith that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to help us, man, when we fall. And like I said, man, don't, you know, don't beat yourself up, man. You got to get the hell up. You have to. You have to get the hell up and keep it moving, man. You don't just get, you know... You know, uh, uh, like I said, shot in the leg on the battlefield and you just laying there. You better squabble your ass over to to um, to some cover, <laughs> you know, and it, this race, man, it, it's, it's a continual race, man. You, yeah, we just got it. We trying to make the finish line. Oh, you got to You got to You can't just stop. If you stop, there's no way you're making the finish line. You see, you watch marathons. Hey, that you know, you see people. It might be a person that comes in five minutes after the first person came in, but hey, they, they crossed the finish line. They finished the race, you know? And so, hey, I just wanted to just touch on that and bring that out by the spirit, man. Um, You know, hey, don't don't beat yourself up. Get up. Pray to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for forgiveness. If it's something that you've done, you know, hey, just keep it moving. You got to keep it moving, man. We have to keep it moving. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.